Howdy, I'm Michael Talop, a junior at the University of Texas at Austin studying chemistry and chemical engineering. I'm part of the outreach team of ATX Siley, UT Austin Science Olympiad Club. I competed in the Science Olympiad for five years and my favorite event was material science. Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn Zhang. I'm a senior at Stanford studying human biology and this year I'm co-executive director of Golden Gate Science Olympiad. Um, I competed in Science Olympiad since sophomore year of high school and my favorite event was disease detectives. Hi Science Olympiad competitors, my name is Daniel Haller and I'm a junior at NC State University studying chemical and biomolecular engineering as well as serving as the president of the NC State Science Olympiad Alumni Organization. I participated in Science Olympiad for five years before coming to college, and my favorite event was Cell Bio. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Coe. I'm a senior at Cornell University, majoring in applied physics and minoring in computer science. I'm a co-president of Science Olympiad at Cornell. I competed in Science Olympiad for three years in Division B, and my favorite event was Ready to Do It. One of my favorite parts of Science Olympiad, of course, was attending tournaments, which are often held at various universities around the country. And while you're there, a lot of the student volunteers will be, uh, you know, members of that university. So while I was going around to all these universities, I got an opportunity to kind of look at the resources and the campus that they all had and talk to some of the student volunteers who are running the events uh, to figure out what parts of the program I would really like when applying to college. So ever since I did disease detectives um, for Science Olympiad, I knew that I wanted to be a doctor, um, but I also knew that I was really, really interested in public health and global health. So um, I really wanted to find a college that allowed me to major in something that combined both. And Stanford happens to have this really cool major called human biology, which focuses on the human side of biology, but also allows students to create their own concentration, whatever they want it to be. So um, Science Olympia definitely helped me get into Stanford, and since that worked out, I'm now a human biology major concentrating in infectious diseases and global health. To any Science Olympiad competitors undergoing the college search process right now, my thoughts are with you. I know that can be a stressful process. My advice is to take a deep breath and remember that you're gonna end up somewhere that you absolutely love. As you consider different colleges, uh, I would recommend worrying less about prestige and really thinking about fit. Where can you go where you're gonna be happy and excited to learn every day because that's the place that you're gonna be most successful. And I'm sure you can find a college that you're excited to go to that also fits uh, the academic criteria that you're considering? Well, my first piece of advice is don't stress out too much. It'll be okay. Everything will work out in the end, I promise. Um, and other than that, you know, I really think you should find a college where you feel at home, where you feel like you belong. You know, whether it, it's the campus itself or the clubs, the people or research opportunities, you know, you're going to be here for the next four years. So I would really hone in on places that you feel a connection to. For Science Olympiad participants and competitors who are looking at colleges right now, um, one thing I liked best about my Science Olympiad experience was all the really great friends I made um, doing Science Olympiad events. Um, and so when you apply to colleges, I would make sure you, you, you take visits, you try to meet current students and prospective students to try to see like the personalities of the people you would be spending your time with. Um, your success in your college academic life is going to just be how hard you work and how passionate you are. So it's most important when choosing to make sure that you're going to be happy. Um, so what made me want to join the alumni, my alumni chapter? So uh, my freshman year, I had a lot of friends in Science Olympiad at Cornell, and I hadn't participated in Science Olympiad since middle school, but they told me to just join, you didn't you need experience, and I had a really great time. Um, it's really interesting to see the other side of tournaments. So we host an invitational every year for both Div B and Div C, um, except this year we're uh, helping out with Maya, so instead of doing a virtual tournament. Um, but yeah, I had a great time after my friend pulling back in. Uh, I decided to join my alumni chapter at UT Austin just because Science Olympiad was a huge part of 
my own personal high school experience. Um, my favorite event, material science, really was sort of what got me into the majors that I am currently in chemistry. And I just wanted to give back to the high school program that helped me so much. Uh, my experience competing in Science Olympiad had a really huge impact on me, particularly in my enthusiasm for STEM education and my desire to pursue a career in STEM research. So I knew once I got to college that I wanted to continue giving back to the Science Olympiad scene here in North Carolina. So I got together with some other similarly motivated alumni and together we founded the Science Olympiad Alumni Organization at NC State. Or our organization has been in operation a couple years now and we support NCSO in a couple key ways. We help write a lot of the events that take place in this state and we also like to volunteer at tournaments, uh, both the regional and the state tournament throughout the state. So we really enjoy this opportunity to give back to this organization that has given us so much. And if you come here or elsewhere, I encourage you to join one of these alumni organizations so that you too can give, give back. So I've dabbled in a lot of different types of research at Stanford. I've worked in your classic wet lab. I've done animal research. But for the last two years, I've been um, working with a group at Stanford that does public health research in rural China. And I've worked a lot on maternal and child health um, in these rural settings. And um, currently, I'm working on an educational intervention that will hopefully improve some of these outcomes in rural China. At NC State, I'm also involved in undergraduate research. I work in a lab in the chemical and biomolecular engineering department that focuses on engineering the human gut microbiome. We're trying to come up with new ways to kind of tinker around with all the fun things that live in the human stomach and intestines. Um, and that involves a lot of cool technologies. You might have heard of things like CRISPR-Cas gene editing. That's something we use. The idea is we're trying to create new ways to modify those organisms for potential use has probiotics or to deliver nutrients or pharmaceutical compounds to the gut, there are really some incredible possibilities. So I really encourage you to also get involved in undergraduate research once you get to college. Uh, yes, I am involved in research projects. So I do research with Professor David Muller at Cornell. Um, my projects primarily consisted using electron micros microscopes. So really high precision, high accuracy microscopes. Um, we look at, uh, I, I look at fuel cell catalysts for electric cars. Um, we image these catalysts on the nanoscale, it's kind of like atomic resolution, and we can understand catalytic mechanisms that will innovate a new generation of fuel cells for sustainable energy. I think my biggest piece of advice for success in college as a STEM major is to find a good community of people. And that can help you in so many different ways. A good community of friends will help you uh, throughout college, just with your social life and your mental health. Um, a good community of friends can also help you succeed academically in class. You know, if you have that very difficult problem in the study set, you go to your friends and they'll usually be able to help you out. So finding a good community of people, whether it's, you know, through your major or through other activities like Science Olympiad alumni organizations, is a pretty key part to get through college, I think. Being a STEM major in college is hard, no doubt about it. My advice is to take what you learn in science class and apply it somewhere. You know, do cutting edge research or go teach kids about science. Whatever it is you want, just get out of the classroom, take your knowledge and do something with it. Pursuing a STEM degree in college can be a difficult but really exciting experience. So if you're considering that path, I have three pieces of advice for you. Number one is to abandon any residual perfectionism that you've taken with you throughout high school. You can do really well in your STEM degree, but STEM degrees are hard, so you may not be able to get a 100 on every single test and project. Focus on doing your best and learning what you need to learn. Uh, a piece of advice number two is to make friends with as many people in your major as you can. STEM degrees require a lot of teamwork, whether that's studying for tests or team projects, and you're going to want to have a set of really good friends that you can tackle those team challenges with. My third piece of advice is 
keep doing things outside of STEM. You really need to give your brain a break from all the science and math you're going to be doing. So check out some activities or minors in the arts and the humanities and the foreign languages. Your brain will thank you and those skills will also be really useful to you going forward. Good luck in your STEM degree. My time at Science Olympiad gave me a real appreciation and enthusiasm for STEM outreach and scientific research. Science Olympiad competitors, I'm wishing you the best of luck in your competition this weekend at the national tournament. I love the Science Olympiad community and especially the community we have here at Cornell. Um, just thank you National Science Olympiad for creating these opportunities and good luck to everyone at the national tournament. Thank you. I'm so glad I competed in Science Olympiad in high school and continue to be involved in it uh, in college through my alumni chapter. And I'm super grateful for all the friends I've made along the way as well. Uh, and good luck to all of y'all competing in the national tournament.